hiring a new employee. Do you all your due diligence? You can be right, you can be wrong. It's 50% shot anyway. All right, so we're gonna talk about hiring. It, it's, it's a tough business, that's why there are people who professionally do it for a living. Recruiters, uh, there's human resources. I mean, there are people who, who live and breathe uh, hiring and firing, you know, along with hiring comes firing. So listen, I've learned a long time ago, you can, we can take all the things that we need to do and call all the references. We, we do our due diligence. We're in a painting industry. So we, you know, we get all the pictures of their other jobs. We talk to the people they've worked for before. Um, we interview them. We do a phone screen. We do everything we possibly can do. And they're all excited and they don't show up on the first day. Or they show up and have zero experience. Or they show up and they're awesome. They're the best person we've ever met. Um, it's a, it's a crapshoot. You can do the best job. You can do all your due diligence and still end up with somebody who doesn't show up who's not a good fit for your, your company. Um, here's what we do, and I'm gonna break it down to you. And I've learned a long time ago, we used to think that, you know, think about it as a baseball team. So you can, you can go and pay, you know, all these people millions of dollars. They can be the best person in every position. Same with a basketball team. Maybe that's a better reference for some people. Um, you can have superstars at at catcher at first, at second, the whole infield could be all stars. You got all stars in the outfield. You've you've bought everything, and your team's horrible. They fight with each other. They don't want to be. You know, they don't. The one, the the second baseman doesn't want to sacrifice the other guy behind him because the stats aren't going to look as good. Um, they're just not playing as a team. The same thing happens with your business. So if if all you're looking for are the superstars who are, you're trying to poach them from other companies, you're trying to hire fully experienced people. Do you know how many people come in to us and say they have 20 and 30 years of painting experience? I mean, if it was true, our whole area would be filled with super duper experienced painters. And I know that there's only a handful of really good larger companies here. It's just not true. But if you do find them, Sometimes they come along with baggage. They have bad habits. They're not going to listen to you. They're not open to new ideas. The paint industry is changing all the time. Products are changing. New products are coming out. Great new tools. Paint brushes change with the types of paint that are changing. And we found that generalized, I'm generalizing, these experienced painters are thick headed and don't want to try new things. So, what do you do? Our recommendation is to hire for your values. What's the values of, values of your company? Ours happen to be accountability, dependability, and relationships. And, and for us, that means that means a lot. You know, if you're not accountable, there's we're, we practice extreme accountability. So, if for instance, if if I'm on a job site, I'm in charge and I tell one of my painters to make sure you lock the door at the end of the day, and that painter does not lock the door, and the homeowner calls or the business person calls screaming and yelling, guess whose fault it is? It's not the painter that you told to close the door at the end of the day, it's, it's you, it's the supervisor, because you have to make sure that that door is closed at the end of the day, not physically go do it, but make sure it was done. You were you're responsible as an owner. You're responsible for your for your for your people. As a supervisor, you're responsible for your for your next people in line. As a lead painter or a crew leader, as a painter, you're responsible for your painters. No matter what business you're in, if you're if you're the office manager, you're you're responsible for your administrative staff. You're responsible for the people that report to you. If you're, if you're giving out a lot of tasks and they're not getting done, you're responsible for that. So it's, it's 
again, we have to make sure we're hiring for values. So accountability is number one for me. Um, dependability. Can we depend that you're going to show up every day? As a contracting company, we bill off of hours. Well, if you don't show up, we have no hours to bill. And you let your team down. Again, what if you're playing basketball and your point guard doesn't show up? And you have no other point guard. Your small basketball team. What if you're a baseball team and your, your, your two catchers don't show up? And you only have two catchers on the team. What do you do? You, you try to throw somebody back in there, but you know it's going to be a disaster. They haven't, been, they haven't played catcher in, in three years since high school. Uh, same with us. If, if we have, if a, if a project manager has a plan for the next day to complete a job, they, they express that plan to the client and then somebody doesn't show up, that's a problem. And I'm not talking about being sick or they have a family matter. That, that's also important. And that's, gonna, that's part of our values. But I'm talking about they just got up in the morning and their, their arm hurt or they had a headache. Um, you know, things that you can get through. You need to show up for work. So that's dependability. We have to depend on you to be able to show up every day and do your work and complete your work in a timely and, and detailed fashion. And then relationships for us are, are super big. We want to have great relationships with our customer. Um, you know, I, I, sometimes I laugh, if, if not laugh, but uh, you, you, you're going to get angry clients. You're going to get people who are upset. But little do they know the extremes that we will go to make sure that they're happy. That's our job. That's what we love because we want to have relationships. We all live in the area. We all go to the grocery stores. We all go to the same. There's only so many schools around here. We want to see. We want to see you. I see so many families who have um, new children. We see everything. We see sickness, injury, death, births, births. We see graduations. You know, we want to be part of all that. We're not the typical company who just you know, hey, sign up so we can paint your house and we just want to get your money and never talk to you again. We want to make that experience super cool when we're at, when we're at your house. Do you know how many people cook our guys? lunch and they grill and barbecue and give them uh, water and drinks and tips and, and you name it, there are just some awesome people out there. And that's why we want to make the experience super awesome. So when we do get a complaint, it's surprising um, just because I don't think that they understand um, what we will do to make sure it's good. They're used to other companies who, who they just see as a company they just value them as a service and not as a as we want them to be part of our family for when they think of painting they want to use us or if they need a referral because they need something else done they call us to get that referral because they trust us that's the deal so accountability dependability and values that's where we're trying to hire we're not i didn't say you need to be the best painter in the world I didn't say you need to be able to, to do so much work in a day. We can train that. I can't train that you're a good person. I can't. I can't train that you're going to be dependable and accountable. That's up to you. I mean, either you are or you're not. Um, we don't want to ruin our team. We have a championship team, and I don't want to ruin it by bringing somebody in. But with that being said... Here's how we change the game. Nobody is allowed to work on our projects, whether it's a subcontractor or an employee, without working with our immediate team for at least three days. Okay, now you might say, well, that's kind of strange because you know some of these companies are legitimate subcontractors. They're legitimate subcontractors who have their own tools. They have everything. They've been in business forever. Oh, well, I don't know that. We don't know that, and we don't want to take that chance on somebody's house or business. So they're going to work with us. We have a grading system, and, it, and it's, it starts with, are they dressed well? Did they show up on time? Can they communicate clearly? Are they friendly? Do they have a pep in their step? These are the things that we're looking for. Then we're looking 
for, you know, can they, what's their experience with the painting industry? But the main things important to us are those first, um, you know, those, those unsaid things. Then they look good. Do they, are they dressed nice for in the painting world? Do they have paint pants on? Are they clean or can they stand them up by themselves without them even in it? Um, what do their tools look like? You can tell a lot about a company and a painter by the condition of his or her tools. Are they taking care of their tools or are they a mess? Is there tons of spackle all over their spackle knives or are those things clean and shiny? If you'd look in my truck right now, and I don't paint all the time, but my tools are clean. If I need to go use something, it's generally nine times out of the 10 clean. So um, higher for values, that's, that's what we can say. The, the trial period for us has been huge. Um, it's almost virtually eliminated any issues. The issues are gonna work themselves out. The people aren't gonna show up or they're gonna show up and get sent home right away or they're gonna make it through a day and not just, maybe they're not, they don't like us. Maybe they don't like the way we're doing it. You know, some painters just want to come in and paint and not be bothered with things. And we get it, but that's not how we are. We're, we're, we're bringing an experience with us and it's a good experience. So that's where we're at today. We talk about hiring. Remember, there's no perfect science for it. This is what's worked for us. We use subcontractors and we use employees. It's a hybrid type of deal. Um, but we treat them the same when we're trying to hire. Doesn't matter, obviously doesn't matter where they're from, doesn't matter the color of their skin, they could be from the moon, it doesn't matter. If they're a good person, we want them working with us. We wanna, we wanna bring those great values that they bring to us and bring them to our customers and, and then everything works itself out. So have a great afternoon. It was nice talking to you about this subject. If you have any ideas and you want to hear about something else, please let us know.